This South Winter Sheet Coach Conversation brought to you by Dave's Collision Shop in Oshin, Becker Hardware in Oshin, and Fidelity Bank and Trust in Oshin and Kilmer. The South Wind Warriors are getting ready for the district final, the sub-state semifinal, coming up on Tuesday night against Edco. They got there with a 61-56 win over Class 1A 5th ranked and defending state champ Wapsie Valley at Wapsie last Thursday night. Head coach Blake Moen joining us. And coach, what got it done for you uh, last Thursday night? Yeah, yeah. You know, Darren, honestly, I, I think the number one thing was that our guys um, um, always believed, um, oh, never lost belief that we could go in and give ourselves a chance to win. Um, you know, and, and as the game went along, we didn't start out the way we wanted. Um, you know, we're down 16-7 after the first quarter. Um, we made a little bit of defensive um, adjustments that that worked in our favor and helped. But um, I, I think the number one thing was that our guys just continued to believe that we could um, continue to battle back. And, you know, one of the things that I said um, after the first quarter was to the guys is that we just we had to just keep it close. Um, we don't we were down nine, but a lot of game left. We didn't have to get it all back at once. We just had to make a few adjustments. Um, hit a few shots on offense um, and just kind of keep it close. And I think defensively, we did a great job after the first quarter of um, we rebounded well, but we were in a little bit of a, a kind of a three quarters pressure um, defense that kind of flowed back into um, uh, kind of a two, three look that, that seemed to help us and then rebounding out of it. But um, one thing that I thought was, was really big too, uh, going into the set or going in the halftime was, uh, Jake Harold hit a uh, runner that cut the lead to three, um, going in, going into half, which was a big momentum, um, change for us to, uh, keeping it to a one possession game there. And third quarter, we just, again, um, did enough on offense, enough on defense to still, still stay within that one score margin. And then the fourth quarter, um, Colin Wilchin really hit some great shots um, and he got hot and uh, he hit a couple of threes, hit, hit a 15 footer. Um, Trey Craner hit another three, two. That was huge for us to get a big swing there. Um, and then down the stretch, Darren, you know, um, our, our seniors in, in Jay Carroll going nine for 10 from the line was huge. Uh, Kill Kaboshik had a huge, huge um, role in not only what we were doing on defense from the second quarter on, but also hit a couple free throws late as well um, to kind of close things out. And um, 100% on the guys. They they believed in one another. They stepped up after um, a, a not great first quarter, um, but we, we just continued to battle um, and continue to trust ourselves that if we gave ourselves a chance in the fourth, we would um, at least be there. And uh, the guys did that, and I was very happy and proud of them. You mentioned the uh, free throw shooting at 12 for 16 uh, from the free throw line uh, on a Friday night. We're on Thursday night on the uh, season. Uh, you've been a little lower than that. Uh, what uh, do you give that credit to? You know, I, I think um, every game is, you know, um, a little different. I think that a lot of it has to do with, you know, being the, um, you know, being a playoff game, you know, or maybe there's a little bit more um, kind of kind of riding on free throws and that kind of thing. But, I, I, you know, I think that our guys were just really focused um, with it being a playoff playing the caliber team that we are in Wapsie Valley, who has a tremendous program, um, is so well coached uh, by Coach McCowan there. And um, I think that we were just uh, really focused going in, and I think that was a big piece to it. One other stat that uh, stood out to me, uh, you were plus eight on the turnover ratio. You forced uh, 17 Wapsie Valley turnovers, only turned the ball over nine times yourself. How big was that? Yeah, that, that's huge. And that's huge in any game. Um, not giving the ball up um, or giving the opposing team more opportunities is is huge. Um, and then for us, you know, I talked a little bit about our defense. You know, I it, it might have been our best defensive game of the year as far as causing turnovers, um, but then also just from not giving up second chances and taking care of the basketball, especially in playoff basketball is huge. And um, our guys did that even after um, the first quarter, we, we did a great job of not forcing the issue, taking what we were um, going to uh, get passing wise. Um, and we passed really well and, and it looked and it opened up shots as the game went along. Obviously that was a, a really big win on a Thursday night. You 
where was the balance moving forward of appreciating what you were able to do, uh, beating a really good basketball team on Thursday night, but now realizing, hey, we got more work to do uh, come uh, Tuesday night. Uh, wh- when did you uh, skip over into uh, preparation uh, for Edco come Tuesday night? Yeah, you know, we, we told we told the guys, you know, it was it was a um, after the game, you know, kind of that night was 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 fun to celebrate with parents and and everything else. Um, the next day um, is kind of when we wanted to to look at switching gears, um, you know, and and uh, wa- getting ready for the next round's game and uh, watching film and 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 prepping, um, you know, getting ready for practices. You know, the nice thing is we did have um, a break of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, and then today as a as a prep day. Um, so it did give us a little bit of time to also, um, yes, enjoy the win, but then also prep for the next round game as well. Edco used to be an Upper Iowa Conference opponent. Uh, they left the league a couple of years ago. What do you know about this year's edition of the Vikings? Yeah, you know, um, uh, very well coached. Uh, Coach Olin does a great job at Edco. Um, they went to state a few years ago. So um, I, um, I think it was maybe three years ago uh, is when they went to state. Um, so, th- you know, their coaching staff has has been in this position before. So they're going to um, year in, year out, be well coached. Um, they've got um, a really good player uh, in Parker Rockford is a really good player for them. Um, that leads them in scoring and such. Um, and then they have a lot of juniors, um, some good, some good, um, a good core of, of juniors. Got a couple of other seniors that mix that are in the mix. So um, they've got, you know, a lot of upperclassmen that are playing for them that are just, um, you know, solid everywhere else. Um, schematic wise, they, they're going to apply a lot of pressure. Um, we think uh, we think we're going to see some pressure um, on, on defense with full court pressure. Um, they run a little uh, bit of two three zone. That's also a very good uh, two three um, pressure defense as well. And then offensively, they 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 push the ball hard in transition, um, either on a on a make basket or a rebound. They push the ball in transition, and so we're going to be ready for for those things. Uh, we're going to have to be ready to um, you know be able to handle them in transition on offense and defense. Um, and then we're going to have to be ready to to go against a very good uh, defense as well. That was one of the things the other night in talking to uh, Chris Sullivan, uh, who Edco uh, defeated uh, Turkey Valley uh, in the uh, game on Thursday night. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, simulate that pressure defense and that pace that they want to play in practice. Is there any way to do that uh, in your mind, or just is it more of a case of being mentally ready for what they bring to the table? I, I think, you know, I think – it's a lot of mental, just know what, what they're, what they're going to be bringing to the table. You know, um, that's where, you know, film is so nice because we can, um, you know, show the players um, different looks on that, that, that they um, may give or, or where they're going to be aligned on the court. And then we're able to kind of walk through and show that on the floor as well. And we do rep it out as well um, with, with, with some of our kind of scout team guys as well. So we do try to rep it out. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, on the floor and that kind of thing, but, but yeah, you know, we do the best we can to, to, to get those reps, but I do think visually seeing it on film, walk, walking it through on the floor and just kind of explaining the importance of it is, um, uh, a, a good first step. Well, coach, you got a big win on Thursday night. Hopefully it's another uh, big win uh, coming up on Tuesday night. We wish best of luck. Yeah. Thanks Darren. Appreciate it. Appreciate your coverage. This South Wayne Coach Conversation brought to you by Fidelity Bank and Trust in Oshin and Kilmer, Dave's Collision Shop in Oshin, and Becker Hardware in Oshin.